What's up, guys? BabyBrains05 back with you. Um, got a New Year's Eve mail day. Um, one of these things was here before Christmas, but had a whole bunch of stuff happen over Christmas. Um, not going to get into it, but um, took me away from the videos a little bit uh, for about a week. So I've got five things or so piled up over here. Most of this should be pretty good stuff, so let's get into it. Um, you'll notice the, the temporarily new angle, um, the tripod I'm using, the, the tightener broke on like the, um, the ball joint, because I use my phone so it's a small tripod. Um, first card here is a Dobbs die cut from Elite Rookie Card, numbered uh, to 99. Pretty cool. Let's go for the second thing. Hope everyone's had a good holiday season. See, I think this is all that's in here. Yep. Um, I think this is the first uh, or the second 2018 Raider Rookie Auto I have. Uh, Jordan Lastly, numbered to 150. Pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna open this real quick. It, there's like a 80% chance this is just a, like a family Christmas card. So, pardon me real quick, guys. Oh, this is nice. Um, this is from a co-worker of mine who lives in Florida. Um, uh, as I said, it's been kind of a tough week. Um, lost my grandfather today. But a co-worker of mine sent up, my co-worker Donna, um, from Port Ritchie, Florida, sent up a condolences card. So that's very sweet. Um, but yeah, guys, it's been, been kind of a tough week. Um, got, got to go out of town over the weekend and kind of forget about things for a little bit, but you know how that stuff is. Um, this one's very cool. I've been wanting this card for a while and finally found it on a good deal. Uh, number to 49, Alvin Kamara, Josh Malone. Um, this is a 2017, so it's an Alvin Kamara rookie auto. Um, and it came in a magnetic, which is nice. I like when cards of value come in a magnetic. I try to send the, you know, the cards that I'm selling or trading or whatever, um, with the, with that same that same logic, I'm watching uh, I'm watching Missouri Oklahoma State over here on my other screen. I have I have this monitor turned off just um, so the lighting is okay and it doesn't auto focus on anything and it doesn't need to. Um, this is a this is a pretty good deal. Um, I think I think his stuff is pretty cheap right now considering he's not playing. But I uh, just got word I think today. That they're expecting Hunter Henry to play in the first round against the Ravens. So, if he has a good game, this could shoot up. A lot of stuff during the playoffs typically does. Um, so, it's always nice to have those playoff players. Um, as they tend to stay hot for a little bit longer, their price goes up as, you know, your value goes up as, as you're seen as a better player. Um, so now is the time to capitalize on any of those non-playoff teams. If you want some of their cards, they're going to start dwindling, especially with draft season coming up. You never know who's going to move where. Um, but just those good players, if you want stuff, go pick it up now. Um, anyway, black parallel to 25, Hunter Henry. And here's the last thing. I'm not sure what it is, but it's, a, it's kind of a thick package. It's a little thicker than standard. Um, it feels puffy like they might have used popcorn or bubble tape. Alright. Let's see what we have in here. Oh yeah, this is a this will be the first the first open of this particular player, or I think this particular sport on this channel. Um But I have him on my fantasy team and he went to Tennessee. So I had to pick something up, and while I was looking, I found this nice lot, all on-card stuff. Um, really psyched to get 
to get it out. I haven't been able to find any of his stuff reasonable. At least for, you know, reasonable to me for a sport I don't collect. Sorry guys, this is, it's very well packaged. Just the tape had me confused. So there should be three cards in here. Wherever the team bag opens. And th this is probably the best player that a lot of people have never heard of if you don't follow basketball. He might be the best player you've never heard of. Tobias Harris. So that's an on-card auto, number to 75. From 2016-17, uh, Noir. We have uh, 79 gold. Not really sure about the gold standard parallels. Um, it's number to 79. On-card auto as well. 2016-17 gold standard. And my favorite card in the lot, just because of the coloring, I'm a big fan of orange parallels. My favorite color is orange. Um, but orange and purple parallels are my favorite. Those are my two favorite colors. Um, he has a really sweet auto, and it looks like, if I can just put these together, it looks better on the orange parallel, um, just because a lot of the letters in his name are longer letters rather than wide. Um, so it looks better on an elongated card. Um, anyway, that's number to 60. Um, out of 2016-17, select. I have a little bit more basketball coming in. Um, I'm starting to collect a little bit of it as I really start to follow basketball. Not, not as much as I follow football, but more than I follow baseball and right at or more than I follow hockey. Um, so... I, I like the old Tennessee guys like uh, Bernard King, Chris Lofton, some of the newer guys. Darnell Stokes just got picked up back by the Grizzlies today. Um, and Josh Richardson, I think I might have a thing or two of his coming in or I'm working on stuff. Um, but guys, stay tuned. Uh, I, I had some nice some nice Christmas gifts. Um which which have have given me a little bit of play money in the trading card world, which I'm happily going through very quickly. And I've got a couple of really good steals last night. I, and I consider them steals. That's kind of an old school term. I don't know if that's really thrown around there much anymore, but um, extremely good deals off of eBay. Um, both of them going into the collection probably. And then I think in the near future, I'm going to... Uh, have a have a panini. I mean, a panini. I'm gonna have a graded card submission, um, and I might go through stuff that maybe I'm looking at getting graded. Not looking at getting the Camaro graded, not this one at least. Um, but I, I might do a, a collection video here, um, maybe tomorrow while I've got some time. I'll put it, put it together, show you guys what I'm PCing, um, and show you guys what I'm thinking about sending off to get graded. Uh, to my knowledge, to get the, the, I think BGS is considered the top as far as card grading, not authentication, but as far as card grading, um, I want to say it's like 15 bucks a card, so you got to be really sure it's worth it. The two cards that I got last night definitely are going to go get graded, um, and the rest of the cards that get graded you see on this channel probably, um, like the Fournette Rated Rookies, uh, I'm trying to remember, did I... I don't know if I got that card in yet. I'll check before I mention it on here. Um, but also have a Christian McCaffrey refractor rated rookie that I want to go get graded. Um, and and some, some Samuels, some Dobbs stuff that I think may be worth it. Some of those, uh, you know, that, like these sets that are, that are gradable. Like they mean a lot more being a 10 than they do being raw. Um, so that, that type of thing. Um, anyway, guys, thank you for tuning in. Um, share the video, like, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.